Hey guys, this is Mario Sonic X, and I'm doing the. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Electrify. I need to, I need to change that uh, intro there. But this is Electrify now, and I'm doing the Gold Chainsaw video. You know, it's the class setup at the beginning there, and this is the recoil test and how the gun looks. I do like how this gun looks gold. It has that cool black strap and the black ammunition um, holders, I'd call it, and everything is everything else is gold. Here's the recoil test. The recoil is actually pretty low on this gun. That's what I like about it. Especially when you're aiming down sights, you can kind of get people from medium to long range. However, when I went to the hip fire test, it was a little bit more recoil, actually a lot more recoil. So I back up here, start hip firing, then I notice how the gun starts pulling down to the left and then right and straight. Here because I didn't realize that this thing had much recoil when you hip fired. However, this gun's only used for hip fire when it's really up close. Here you'll see. Um, that I could do aim down sights and use stalker quite a bit. But also this gameplay will be a rage quit gameplay for me. I usually don't rage quit that often, especially when I'm recording. Unfortunately, I got a gameplay and uh, for some reason it didn't record. I don't know why, sometimes Upload Studio glitches on me. In fact, I actually tried to upload this uh, earlier, just about a few minutes ago. But all of a sudden, then Upload uh, Studio just closed on me and I tried to, now I have to redo it. So, um, here's where I rage quit. I just I think this is completely done and over with because it's really stupid. Um, but I have uh, better gameplay coming up on Flooded. Uh, it's This is an okay gun for most maps. If you're on small to mid-sized maps, this is pretty good. Especially if you're going for those sliding point blanks you want to play on maps like Strike Zone or maybe the new Showtime. I wish I got the gameplay with Showtime. Unfortunately, I don't have the DLCs. I don't have the Nemesis DLC or the... What was it the next one, the one with the I? Because I know the DLC spell Odin. If you guys didn't know that, um, but I do, I do think that this gun is a little bit tricky to use because it's like an SMG LMG hybrid. It does rush like an SMG and plays kind of like an SMG, but it's more of an LMG because of the mag size, the um, restriction on movement speed, even though it's not as much as other LMGs, and the fact that you have a huge belt with ammo, which makes the reload kills harder. And what I would do for that would be that I would go onto smaller maps like Strike Zone or like Showtime, and I just use Sleight of Hand, and it really, really helped, especially when I was going for Strike Zone 24/7. Uh, this gameplay is <laughs> slow, but I do, I do quite well. I don't die at all. I don't think at all in this gameplay. Um, you find that the chainsaw, as a little review for the gun, is it's cool. I really like the cool factor of this gun. Imagine you kind of like with a mini death machine almost and it's pretty awesome I think it's a very cool gun especially if you've seen the real-life depiction of the FN chain. I think it's made by FN it, um, basically the same people who made the M249 made it with a chainsaw handle you can notice that it performs quite well if you watch the movie um, I can't even think of what it's called I, I know it was with Matt Damon and he had he was like a super soldier with like an exosuit and it was kind of like they went up to this planet there's a huge ring, it was like a haven kind of thing, and it was like healed the sick and all that. But enough about movies, they did use that in the, in the movie, it was a pretty cool gun. Um, but yeah, an overall review of this gun was pretty awesome, I actually like this gun quite a bit. And if you guys do enjoy the gun, slap a like, um, or slap me, I don't know, maybe you guys are into. So that is it guys, this is Electrify, out.